Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars. Let's do it. Our first one is from Shapeshifter00. I know that these have to be submitted for approval, so hopefully it does. But does anyone have any unopened packs of Legos they're willing to let go of? One, Legos made expensive nowadays. Two, my son and I love them and I've spent way too much money on Legos already. Three, it keeps me sane for a few hours without feeling my son is gonna make my head explode. He's five, gotta love him, but man, F them kids, right? <laughs> I'm just trying to see if y'all would come up off some Legos so I can give this kid some more joy and he'll let me build them along enough to breathe. <laughs> I love how this beggar outright just says fuck her kid. I mean, he's five, yes, he's gonna be full of energy, but what the hell, why would you even view your child like that? Clearly somebody who doesn't want to be a parent, and I can almost guarantee they're asking for these Legos to try to resell. This next one is by 20 Pathfinder 20. Hello, I know this is a lot to ask, but would you consider letting me have the motorcycle for free? It's for my elderly dad, and he lost his car due to financial issues, and he's dirt poor on a super low pension, and I don't work as I'm looking after him until I get another job, as I lost my trucking company to a fucking rotten p I'm looking for someone with a heart that's willing to help a person in need. My dad is 78 years old and is at his breaking point and the next person who refuses to say yes and help him will be held responsible if anything happens to my dad as he is ready to let go of life. I keep asking till you answer me. No thank you. So you're okay with putting money over a person's life? Has this ever worked for you? Actually, yes, in the past it worked because years ago there were good-hearted people that would give you the shirt off their back to help a person in need. Now all you is is a bunch of cold-hearted, money-hungry bastards, and I'm very disgusted by that. My lawyer actually told me that if anything happens to my dad because someone told him and no and it pushed him over the edge, I can file a lawsuit. So far, I have 20 people's names in Facebook accounts who've refused to help me. I've passed those on to my lawyer in case anything happens. My dad told me if anyone else tells him no, there will be major hell to pay. At 78 years old, I, I, I don't know if riding a motorcycle is the smartest or safest thing. And the fact that he's threatening people, which I don't even think the dad exists. I don't think he's threatening anybody. I think it's all made up. This stupid beggar is trying to talk about people having a heart, but then throws an insult to an entire fucking race of people right off the bat. This next one is from Whammy6. Hi, please read if able. I'm looking for some items that I need. I can explain the reasons in a message directly, but they are for important reason. Desperately seeking if you're no longer wanting. I do not drive, unfortunately, but will try to find a ride or offer gas. Unfortunately, won't be much, as I don't really have much of anything, Ixiot a bit. One, a TV with at least one HDMI port, 36 inches or bigger. Two, a small electric fireplace, three feet wide or less, is for very sentimental reason, very special to me. Three, a king-size bed frame. Four, a balcony patio heater. Five, an iPhone, as long as it works for TELUS. Don't care about cracked screen. Six, a small carpet runner. Seven, a good condition recliner couch. I will explain the reasoning of each item, but they are not just because I want them, but because they are important, though probably seems silly to some. It's for good reason. Message and I will explain. I have to wonder what the good reasons for wanting all of these things are. I mean, they're saying they'll give a good reason, so it's almost like I feel like it's a game that if somebody reaches out and the reason is actually good enough, they might end up with an item. Who knows? This next one is by Zealous Ideal RIP7379. Zero dollars. Free cups. Okay, can you mail them? Absolutely not. May I ask why? They're free cups. I'm not wasting my time or money to mail. 
Where are you located at? And how much are they? Where are you located at? Where are you located at? Beaver Creek. I live 57 minutes away. Thumbs up. Can we do halfway? No, they're free. You must porch pick up from my home. Never mind, because I'm not coming all that way for cups. I live 57 minutes from you, almost an hour. Thumbs up. It is ridiculous. I don't know why you can't go halfway, because I'm not the one that's driving. My dad is, and he's 87. I'm not wasting my gas to meet someone for free cups. Whatever. It's ridiculous you expect me to waste my gas for free cups. Maybe look for posts closer to you. The sad thing is, I think even if they did find a post closer to them, they would harass the person to try to still do the same thing and do some kind of delivery or go on this sob story about how they just need to meet halfway. This next one is from Tangy Crossing. Seeking a puppy for a child with special needs. Seeking a puppy for a child with special needs. Prefer a small breed dog like a poodle, etc. Cannot afford much. Hope that someone can make a child with special needs happy. Thank you. From my understanding, and I'm not a super big dog person, I don't know a whole lot about breeds, but I was always under the impression that poodles were actually a quite high maintenance animal, so I I'm just very baffled. But not at the same time. This next one is by Jam Donut Man. 2008 Ford Focus. Yes, it is. Would you take 510 pounds, please? Please, because we really need a car. Please, would you take 510 pounds, please? Please, because we really, really need a car. Please, would you take 510 pounds, please? Because we really, really need a car. Please, would you take 510 pounds, please? It's up for 3,500 pounds. You're offering me a seventh of what I'm asking. 510 pounds is absolutely not enough. Would you please, please take 510 pounds? Is this still available? Yes, it is. Would you take 510 pounds? Please, please. Oh, it's you again. No. I would think that after the first couple times they asked, didn't get a response, or were point blank told that what they were offering was too low, they would give up, but this beggar has some kind of determination, but they're still not going to get the car. And our final one is from APD56. 12 by 12 garage on a slab needs to be removed from property. Could be jacked up and set down on a trailer fairly easily. Or dismantled piece by piece. It has some sill rot, but very salvageable. Windows are toast and shingles are bad as well, so it will need some attention. Ask for more info if interested. I would like it gone by early spring. Cash is king. $1,000. I love how these beggars have literally taken and twisted the meaning of one man's trash is another man's treasure because they're trying to capitalize off of, oh, I don't know, having somebody think that their trash is some kind of treasure when really they need a service performed and they just don't want to pay but rather be paid for it. All right, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons and super thanks contributors. Have a great day and stay safe out there.